everyone, it's Alex from Avon Wildlife Trust here and we're so looking forward to seeing you again for my wild child session. But for today, we're going to start with a hello song. So after three. One, two, three. Hello everyone, how are you today? Very well, thank you, we're okay. We've just begun to have some fun with birds and trees and tadpoles. Hello everyone, and today we're at Pro Wilder. So today we're going to be learning all about spring. And spring is the season that comes after winter and we can tell when it's spring because the flowers start coming on the trees, the bees might pop out and you can hear the birds tweeting very loudly behind me. I've got a really good way of spotting all of these different signs and it's called the 5-4-3-2-1 challenge. Can you do that on your hands? 5-4-3-2-1. So today you're going to be helping me spot all the signs of spring at Grow Wilder. So before we can begin to do the challenge, we're going to make a pair of binoculars. We use binoculars to help us see nature more closely. But these aren't normal binoculars, they're invisible ones. To make your invisible binoculars, you will need two toilet rolls or a sheet of card, some tape, a piece of ribbon or string, and some nature treasures like leaves, twigs and grass. So, to begin making your binoculars, you can use some double-sided tape and you can peel this off. And then begin to stick on all your treasures. So these binoculars are really going to blend in. That's why they'll be invisible. So once you've added all of your nature treasures onto your binoculars, you need to push them together to stick them together. And then you can put a hole in each side, get a grown up to help you to thread your string to make your binoculars. Now it's time to use them. Let's go. So I've got my invisible binoculars here and I've decorated my hat with leaves and twigs too. So let's see if we can catch spring. So to start the challenge, we're going to spot five things that we can see in front of us now. I'll give you a few seconds just to have a little look. What can you see? I can see some cherry plum blossom in the background on the trees. I can see some bumblebees. I can see some birds. I can see a pond. I can see a tadpole. What can you hear? Have a really good listen. I'll give you a few seconds. I can hear four things. Birds. You might hear there's a green finch in the background and a great tit in the background. I can also hear buses and cars. I can hear people in the background talking. I can hear bubbling tadpoles. things you would like to touch. I'd like to touch this water. I'd like to touch this dried seed head, all rough and crunchy. I'd like to touch these fluffy blossoms. Now we're 
going to see if we can see two things we'd like to smell. First of all, I'd like to smell this blossom. Ooh. I can smell wet leaves around the pond. Okay, so we've spotted five things we can see, four things we can hear, three things we'd like to touch, two things we can smell, and now we're down to number one. So number one, can you guess, is what we'd like to taste. So what can you taste? I can taste my breakfast. So perhaps what you'd like to do for this one is to take a snack outside and enjoy it somewhere green near where you live. So we hope you've enjoyed doing the 54321 challenge to help you find spring. Maybe you can try and do it in a place near you, perhaps your local park or a local nature reserve. Until next time, goodbye everyone. Goodbye birds, goodbye trees, goodbye tuples. Bye. <laughs>